Hey guys, uh, Krabby here. I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to set up this awesome new thing for Guild Wars 2 called Gem FX. It's essentially Sweet FX and a bunch of shaders mixed in and very easy to configure. So I wanted to start this off. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, you're gonna if you Google GemFX, this will be one of the first links. It'll actually take you to the TotalWarCenter.net website, which uh, it's kind of weird because it's a Total War mod, but it works for everything. As far as I know, this is the only way to get it right now. Um, this is the latest version this video is using, 1.0.8. Now, if you scroll down, downloads and installation, click Show, and you just download GemFX right there. Now, once you download it, you're gonna, it, it's gonna have a little installer with it and you extract it wherever you like. And I actually have a SweetFX folder for um, my games. So these are the files you should have in your GemFX folder. Once you extract GemFX, you should have these files right here. It's extremely simple. All you do is you open up, open up your Guild Wars 2 folder, go to bin, and then just select everything and copy it over. Really simple. Now, the awesome thing about this program is the configurator it has. You can adjust everything you want. <clears throat> you can even adjust suite effect. You can adjust the suite effect settings with it. And it has little details in the bottom middle of the screen to tell you what each setting does. You can adjust each setting. It's it's insane. But this is what you can you can leave the configurator open anywhere you like. So just, you know, leave it open. Open up Guild Wars 2. Play. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and log into the game. Now, you have the configurator open as well as the game. You can actually adjust all these settings while in game so go ahead and you know like take a look at the screen it looks great very the settings i like to use are very sharp and clear settings now just so you know that it's working i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna turn it off deactivate and i'm gonna click save oh wait no i'm sorry no no no, no that wasn't that um a good way to tell if it's working is to turn on, where is it, motion blur. Click save, the game might freeze a little bit and then move. So you can actually tell there is some, let's go somewhere lighter. <clears throat> now you can actually see, whoa, see the motion blur. I mean, personally, I don't like motion blur. It's a very cinematic feel. Some people like it. I don't you can see it. It's very, I can, let me turn it up just to make sure. Where is it? Motion blur, uh, intensi uh, intensity. Save, the screen will freeze. And, ooh, very, very blurry, very blurry. Now let's turn it off, click save, and no more motion blur. So that's a good way to see if it's actually, you know it's working or not. Um, me, personally, I don't use any gem shaders because, let's see, True Color, for example, a lot of people use this. Makes the screen really dark. Gives a very dark, dark and realistic feeling to the game. Personally, I don't like it. I think it uh, alters the way the game is supposed to look a little too much. <clears throat> the only thing I really wanted to do was sharpen it up. Now, if you look at those spinal blades, they look really nice. Now, if I turn off um, Gaussian, Gaussian blur, it blurs them up a little bit right there. Turn it back on, sharpens them up. Now, this is extremely easy to configure, and you can set these settings to whatever you like. Um, in case anybody wants a really sharp image like I have, turn on Gaussian blur, uh, turn on Gaussian. Click on, where is it? additional shader. Set the effect to one. 
One is actually the sharp effect, as it says right in the bottom, right there, sharp. Quality one, um, sigma two, and everything else is the same. Now, if you want it to be even more sharp, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go in the sweet effects settings, turn on Luma Sharpen, and go here and use these settings right here. This is if you want the exact image I'm seeing in terms of sharpness. Um, I can, I mean, it, it, this is amazing how well this works. I, I can't believe how well, how easy this is to use and how well it works. I recommend everybody do this for as many games as possible if you like to make the image sharper and clearer. Um, the way I always, to me, it always looks like somebody just took a rag over the screen and wiped off a layer of grease. That's what it looks like to me. It just looks so clean. And I love it. So, yeah. You know, um, if... Anybody has any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll put a link to the Total War website to download this. And any other questions, yeah, sure, just, you know, post them in the comments. And, you know, shoot us a subscribe on uh, Dungeon Crawler Network if you find any of this interesting or want any more content. All right, everybody, have a good day.